Okay, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to use the carbon pile load tester to load test this battery. So, what we're going to do is bring the tester over here and connect the negative and the positive leads. Make sure to observe the polarity as you connect these and try to get a good connection. It may mean that you have to wiggle this around and, and get a good bite on that battery terminal. And do the same thing here. And then we're going to want to check the voltage. You want to make sure that the battery is at least 75% charged or at 12.4 volts or higher before you perform this test. Otherwise, you're testing a battery that's drained and the results don't mean much. Now, we need to come over here to the battery and find the cold cranking amp rating of the battery. You can see that right here, the cold cranking amps for this battery are 490 amps. So what we'll do is we're going to apply a load of half of the cold cranking amps, which is 245 amps, and we're going to use the black scale right here. Don't worry about the other scales. So I'll turn this knob right here. This knob begins to apply a load to the battery. And once I get there, once I get to 245, I will come over here and look at the voltage of the battery. And it should stay above 9.6 volts, and it should hold that for 15 seconds. You'll hear the tester start to beep. That means you can turn it off. If I can see after just a few seconds that this battery is going to pass, I don't need to sit there and run the load for the full 15 seconds because all that's doing is draining the battery farther. And I don't really want to do that. If I can see that it's going to fail right away, I don't need to run it for 15 seconds. Just run it long enough to find out if that's going to pass or fail. And I can see that was staying above 10 volts and it was going to stay there for a long time. Now, a lot of times when you first hook this up, when you turn the load on, we're drawing a big load out of this battery. You might see smoke coming from the terminals. What that means is you don't have a good connection, so you're going to want to take these off and wiggle these, make sure and cut through the black on the surface and get a good connection to the terminals. So if it's smoking or when you turn the load up, it quickly drops down to zero volts, you know that you have a bad connection, so just check your connections again. This is a pretty accurate test because it really does test the battery against its ratings. But the disadvantage of this test is that it drains the battery quickly. 